you can catch it in the dark, you can catch it in the light. I know I'm the fastest guy in this draft. This is what I dreamed of. I love to see him on the Cowboys. After the surgery, it was hard. Mom and dad, they would help me everything that was needed. You're going to be rusty coming off your injury. Life's more than football. Oh, this is my mom. Okay, it's here. It's just disruptive. I'm a top 10 draft pick. There's millions of dollars on the line. What up, Overtime? It's your boy, JD. I'm gonna give you a tour of the crib. Ah! What can I say, baby? It's too easy. We got the living room, perfect for living. And outside, we got the deck where you can find my boy, J-Mo. Ah! Hey! Mm. Jameson is that guy. He's explosive, he's electric, he's a playmaker, he's a baller. Very special talent, for sure. You can see we got the nice view. Down here, we got the fire pit, the cornhole. The QB challenge. I'm about to whoop JD in that. You can head down here to the pool. My boy working on his swing. One handed. The next Tiger Woods, baby. Come here. Welcome to the Ram Draft House. Who this? I don't know, bro. Yo! Najee Harris. Hey, man, what you doing here, man? What's up with it? Where Garrett at them? Last minute team means he couldn't make it, man. Call him up real quick, man. Let me say what up to him. What's up with it, man? Where you at? I'm in Columbus right now. Uh, that's what team means. I saw I couldn't make it down to Austin, bro. It's all right, boss, man. You know, it's lucky you can't be here, but you know, I know how important that is, especially during this process. You know, I know you got to get right. Garrett's a dynamic player. He's done a lot of great things at OSU. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the league. What up with y'all boys, man? Man, you know, living. Chilling, man. Yeah, I miss y'all boys, bro. Y'all enjoy yourself, man. Yes, sir. It's crazy that I'm sitting here with you guys right now talking about you guys' process because it was just last year that I was in the same shoes as you guys, me, J-Dub, and uh, Jamar. So, JD, how's combine training in Phoenix? So we posted up in Phoenix, go to Exos, and get that grind on, get ready to prepare for the combine and pro day. <laughs> When you go to the Natty, you play a 15-game season, you know, you're at a disadvantage because a lot of people's season end in December or the beginning of January. It's just here, and you're putting it down. Just boop, pick that thing up. What was time, though? Four, three, five. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got to be adaptive when you play football. Don't even worry about putting your hand down on the line either. Just go from here and just cross, cross, touch the line. You have to be on a mission even more now. You don't have a lot of time to waste. Yes, sir. Now do that again. Just give me a line tap. I'm ready for it. It's no biggie. It's just a few weeks. Because your second cut is good. Your second cut is fine. It's this first one that is just awkward getting into. It. You want me to grab these cameras? Yeah. All right, let's cut the cameras. Regardless, we're going to do our thing and show out, so I'm not worried about that. You may think you know Jordan Davis. And in this game, there's no shortage of expectations predictions and opinions. But the best part about expectations is redefining them. Try to win a national championship. This is what it's all about. Why you come to Alabama, why you work so hard in the offseason, and we got just 60 minutes to find out who's going to win this ball game. You know, some guys skip the bowl games, obviously national championships. Did you ever think about sitting? Nah. That's, that's that's not a that's not a game you should like you you should be able to even sit out. <laughs> but I love football. I want to play. I want to play every game. What was the energy like at the kickoff? My confidence was out the roof. I felt like I was just about to take off and go stupid that game. Jamison Williams on the screen. He'll jump in the air and he'll fly for the first down. First quarter, I felt real good. We knew what game we was playing in. We knew what it was gonna take to win this game. It was just. Things happen. Uh, I remember I had an option route. Nobody was covering me, so I just kept it straight. Here's the snap. Bryce backpedals, throws across the middle, wide open. Jamison Williams makes the grab. As I turned around, I tried to stop, cut back the other way. Boom. Jamison Williams holding his left knee. He was awkward on that. <laughs> What'd you feel? 
Uh, it just, I just felt it pop out, but then I felt it pop back in as I was on the ground grabbing it. I just, I ain't feel shit else after that. Went to the locker room, felt like I was straight though. I was in the locker room, I was doing high knees, I was running, I was doing everything. Uh, but then a uh, doctor came in, he said, nah, no go. I was finna come back. If Doc ain't coming, I was coming back in the game. It's the natty shit. <laughs> I really wanted to win that game, like, but I had bigger things ahead of me. We plan to have surgery Tuesday, so right now we're just getting out, having some fun. Headed to the Cincy first Raiders game. It's just something to get my mind off the surgery. You like Jamar's game? One of the elite receivers, really. He's just a ball player. You see the records he even broke. That's the mindset I had going into the NFL. Like, I want to do what he did. He just been doing his thing. That's something that should just inspire me. The biggest adjustment to the NFL is just the terminology of the plays, you know what I'm saying? Because I had my quarterback since college, so that actually made it easier on my part. So we basically had the same offense, we just used different terminology. But I felt like everything else just came to you, you know what I'm saying? Once you play football, you're gonna get out there, you're gonna get back to what you know. And that's your game, you know what I'm saying? When the lights come on, it's game time, you're gonna get back to your game. That was, that's, that's because what you, that's what you know. You're gonna be rusty coming off your injuries too, you know what I'm saying? You gotta find all, little, all your new things, all the stuff you used to do and you was great at, now you gotta like rebuild on that. It's gonna be easy for you. You just gotta make sure you work, stay on top of your craft. And if you wanna be great, you gotta, gotta wanna be great, bro. Good, Zev. How you doing, man? I'm Gary Wilson. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I went to Ohio State University. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona at the XL's facility, training for the 2022 NFL Combine. Y'all give me some food, bruh. What up with you, Jahan? Oh my guys, man. <laughs> got a burrito this morning. They do a great job here of tracking all that. We got, you know, great nutritionists and all that, keeping track of everything we put in our body. Cooks back there, we killing it. Got a good breakfast, got my nutrition in for the day. Now it's time to go get some work in. I've been here since January 9th, and the day I leave is February 28th, and the combine is March 1st, the day after. So February is a short month, so you got to take full advantage of it. I want to put on some weight for the NFL just to prep me for the next level. I want to be at 187. It's my ideal weight for running the 40-yard dash. I'm trying to be in that 4-4 range. There's millions of dollars on the line over time, so you know it kind of can give you an edge over someone that they think that your film is even with. I know that my football skills are going to translate, but to get the most out of the process, you know, I want to run the best time possible as well. Go! Go! Hey! This thing's hurting, I ain't gonna lie. This is the worst you did, conditioning wise. This is the most conditioning we've done the whole time. We just got done with the Monday workout, and I'd say that was probably our hardest workout since I've been here. I'm about to get in this DEXA scan, which is a body composition test. We did one when we first got here, and then this is a little follow-up just to see how the progress I'm making and all that. Hopefully I'm still at that 8% body fat. I just worked out, so I probably lost some weight. We're trying to put a little bit of weight on him, um, but maintain that good body composition, so keep him lean, keep most of it muscle mass. All the good weight, keep him fast. All football players and all athletes, the carbohydrates are gonna be the most important, so we have those pretty high because of their grueling training schedule while they're here. I get all my carbs in, I gotta go to in and out my order in and out, um, two doubles, um, and an animal fry. <laughs> so it's not healthy, I'm not gonna lie, it ain't healthy, it ain't helping me out, so um, I gotta knock it off for sure. You know, I'm in the tail end of it now, so the last four weeks, you know, I really gotta hone in, lock in on all the details, and showcase my ability, for sure. What's good, y'all? Welcome to my crib. Let's check it out, come on in. So we're outside Scottsdale, Arizona, right in Phoenix. I'm gonna be here for my draft training process, and so far I love it. You know, this is my room. You can tell I slept in this this morning before the workout, but uh, I'm a hat guy, shoe guy, clothes guy, so, you know, this is definitely my favorite hat. That was huge for me to be able to get the Chrome Hearts hat, and then the uh, Palm Angels, you know, the same type of thing. One of those hats that I wanted since I was a young, just a regular dad hat, and you know, I always got the hats on. We got the living room, and uh, this is where I spend most of my time. P5, so you know, all that stuff's mandatory to have. You know, I'm always on the Madden. I trash talk just like I do on the field, you know, on the game. Um, I'd say that's where it all started for me. You know, the Captain Crunch is mandatory. It's the best cereal ever. Cup noodles and ramen. The hot Cheeto pack, gotta have that. 
That's probably my favorite snack. Then we got the foosball table. I haven't had anyone to play against, but I've been getting my reps in. You know, when that time comes when someone does want to play me, I'll be ready to go. You know, they probably won't even score to be real with you. So this is probably the highlight of the whole house, the backyard. There's not really much you can't do out here. You know, let me move this back a little bit and show y'all something. Oh yeah, money. You know, what can I say? And then we got the pool. You know, I love having the pool when the weather's as nice as it is in Arizona. I mean, I love Arizona, so I mean, just being able to go outside and coming from a place like Ohio, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a change of pace and I love it. All right, y'all. Well, it's been a pleasure, but I got a couple hours before I uh, got to go back to the facility. So I'm gonna just lay back and kick it, man. It feels good out at 70. Got to lay back and kick it. Y'all get up out of here, man. It was hard because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't get up, get out of bed. Mom and dad, they were around. Really just helped me with everything that, that was needed. So it was good. You think that's setting it up for Aaron Rodgers to go there now? Bro, he finna go some crazy place like Jacksonville or something. No, he ain't going no Jack. <laughs> I had a real strong relationship with my dad, I would say. We argue a lot, but, you know, it's love. Hey, he don't need to shoot jumpers. He got his partner over there he to shoot them. playing, like, middle school basketball, like, he just go to the rack. I know just driving to the lane, but that meant you want to turn the game Boy, off. Boy, Giannis, he's putting that sauce on there. You must not be walking Milwaukee games, man. He putting jokers in the spin cycle, man. But if the Bucks play tonight, he would do the same move the whole game. You can't stop it. No, no, no. <laughs> no jump shot. Nah, nah, he's going straight to the to, rack. Bro. Get out of my way. Like, bro, that's what a young LeBron used to do. But he, he would never be close to LeBron. I'm just telling you, he running up on LeBron back, bro. I'm he sorry. Never be, you see how I just had to wipe my eyes? <laughs> you know, I mean, he's kind of like the person that you had to be around to figure him out. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> if I go to my drafts on Twitter, I used to be just winning a tweet like, I'm the best receiver in the nation. Yeah, but they gonna, so think, they gonna think you cocky. Yeah, I just, it ain't cocky, it's I just confidence. keep that to myself, bro. It ain't, it's facts. See, I can't say that either, because when I say that, they be like, are you just saying that because that's your son? Y'all should have heard some of them conversations where you didn't perform so well. They ain't want to hear that, did they, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's just my job, though, you know what I'm saying? Now you understand, you always can be better. I'm working at Andrews Institute right now, about to head to PT with my guy Tyler. I'm just looking forward to attacking the day, just getting better by the day with these guys. Hit the button, we're gonna squeeze, squish that ball, squeeze your quad right there, trigger, push the ball straight back, good. Tyler is really a funny guy. He's gonna brighten up your day. Did you watch wrestling when you were growing up? Yeah. Were you not a fan of The Rock? Nah. No? I, like, he was before and my the time. Oh, the people's was before my time. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was some days I've been over there and just didn't want to do anything. Man, Tyler just burned the best out of me and just made sure I got through the day. I think in the game I hit like 23, 23, 4 or something. So you were speeding in a school zone? Yeah. <laughs> Tyler is a good person for sure. The first week, what we want to do is we really want to just get that quad to fire. Then we want to get the knee all the way straight. A lot of times after surgery, guys have a tough time getting that extension. And so in that first week, we really want to get the swelling down and make that as comfortable as possible. The goal I had for the combine was basically just get back on my feet, be walking straight uh, without a limp, without a brace or anything. I feel like I'm a top 10 draft pick. It's just been a goal for since I was a kid. It's just a, it's just a bump in the road God created. Look at that. Yeah, we're staying on the cam. We're staying on the cam, bro. I got a haircut, right? Yeah. But you ain't never had a haircut since I met you, cuz. Go ahead, get on the camera, cuz. We're out here at Exos today working on the start of the 40. We all know the 40 is an important part of the combine. Not as much as that it matters to me, but it, it matters to the scouts and to the GMs. You know, it's really important to me because it's important to them. What we want to avoid is look at Alex's shin. You want your shins to be as parallel as possible. 
We need to stay in that parallel position. The main thing that we had did was tighten up my stance. The main thing I need to work on when it comes to 40, you know, I'm helping to do a better time. If I'm holding you back with this bungee, you're not pushing. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm still in the process of working on it and practicing it and getting my technique right. So it, it's really been helping me and keep power in my legs so that I can really push off of them and, you know, carry that into my back end of my 40. Lean over the line, hips up, hand up, and a go call. Go. Ah, ah. Wandell won that. That's a lot of. Who was in second? Garrett. That's what we love doing. We all love competing. Um, I know I do. It pushes you to, to, to get on your game and make sure that you, you know, staying in that level. Wandell again. Wandell out of there. I ain't gonna fake it, Rule. I made sure I ran next to Wandell. That's my boy, but also he, he's super fast and he's competitive, you know, so he's beating me the first two reps, letting me hear about it, and I'm trying to get him back. Go! <laughs> Um, be able to get him on the last rep, you kind of take it with a, a cherry on top because one does it that fast, you know. So being the competitor I am, it feels good to win. When you're racing somebody, give me that juice and that energy, but in the gates by yourself. When you're in Indy, there's no music, there's no crowd, you're not racing anybody. You have to be able to hype yourself up and bring that same gas every time. Hey, I love competition. Compete on three, compete on three, one, two, three. Compete. compete. You know, it's, it's that time where all those details really matter and you're on the, you're on the back end of this thing and, and I mean, it's time to lock it in. Yeah, bro. Come get it next. Come get one bro. <laughs> Ooh, that was hard. Why do I keep oh. Why do I keep <laughs> oh no, no. Game time, fam. What do you think your speed gonna be in that ink? Probably depend on what the forty. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Strip. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Stop running the ball, man. I gotta keep you honest. <laughs> Shots. Oh, he Stop. not getting there. Oh. Good game, though. Good game. You got the dub. I ain't gonna figure it with you. Oh my gosh. These flames is not a joke. I'm trying out my first time grilling. Damn. You know, I like the smells. Ooh I like the vibes it's giving, you know? It feels like it's good vibes. It's the Chum Bucket Deluxe right here. It look good. It look like a Krabby Patty or something. It's like a burger that's gonna be on a commercial, right? Mmm. It's good, bro. I'm really Tiger Woods. That's nice, G. We're out here playing some mini golf, and we got a little wager going on. Maybe. Whoever loses got to wear the other team's college gear tomorrow at the workout. It's easy right here, right? I can't putt like that, bro. There's no way you make that. You you push that. that we didn't give it to you, bro. You'll see me in a UK shorts tomorrow or something, bro. Bring some shorts for me, because I ain't putting on no shirt, bro. <laughs> it's the little things, bro. It's the little things in life. I can only do one though in the s'mores. So I'm gonna fill those in the morning. And don't forget that tracksuit in the morning. I know I lost the bet, so. Appreciate you coming over for help. You already know. You may think you know Jamison Williams. But if you really know me, you know that obstacles in my way can only make me stronger. So it's crazy that I'm sitting here with you guys right now talking about you guys' process because it was just last year that I was in the same shoes as you guys, me, J-Dub, and Jamar. So I remember when Waddle had his ankle injury, he was going through the same process you was at, and I know you guys went to the same place for rehab. Me, honestly, I was really focused on rehab so I can get back to as close as possible as I could before the draft. It was hard. I was dragging my leg a little bit. You know, I had the brace on. So going through all that stuff, how well do you think you progressed through all that? Uh, I feel like I progressed real well. Everything been going good, like I said. I really, once it happened, it was that. It is what it is, yeah. but we just focus on getting back right. What about you, JD? I heard you was in Phoenix. Can you tell me how that was? It was dope. Just went out there and grinded. We explored a new city. I never been outside the East Coast, so I miss it a lot, but you know, I was there to grind and you know, I had a little fun, but mostly there to grind. So was you like dinged up a little bit when you was training for the combine or what? Yeah, I mean, you know, after a long season, you know, your body's naturally gonna be hurting. But at the end of the day, you know, I rehabbed at Exos, they did it well. And just really getting my mind, body, and soul back together before I had to grind for the combine. 
How you feeling, dog? I'm good, man. You still ugly this week. Hey, man, you know, that's what they need. They need ugly d lineman. <laughs> you crazy. You know, we came out here, we put a little work in. We're just doing combine drills. What we expect to see at combine, you know, they might throw something out, they might throw something in, so we make sure you're as perfect as possible. This is a passless drill. You've done it a million times. There's going to be a coach here with a snap stick, probably in as handsome as me. Chuck Smith, he's a funny guy. You know, he's dripped out, he's smooth, so, you know, Chuck, he's going to give you his best. I mean, they call him the Dr. Pass Rush, so I'm just excited to work with him and put a little piece of his bag to my game. It's not about timing. They're not trying to see how quick you can change direction. This isn't about speed, it's about being smooth. Smooth's gonna become quick. Oh, he's just disruptive. He's best at stopping the run. He comes off the ball, he knocks guys in the backfield. When you put that football intelligence together with the movement, the skill, he's ready for anything. Anytime we do this, Jay, I want your foot off the edge of this bag. Let me show you why. We want him to hear that boom, pow, pow. Soon as you get about right here, clubbing. Right? We don't wanna wait till we get here and that's gonna be able to help you have a short corner. Good, don't break your feet down. That's perfect. Good. Good job. Can't do it no better. Of course, size helps, but really what makes him different is his ability to move, his ability to change direction. That's great flexibility. Okay, okay. They're not holding the bags when you're out there at the combine. So when you hit it right here, it's gonna go and you're gonna be able to go straight. There you go, good. Good, there we go. Whoa! That's it, I like that. Go. That felt good. Hold on, let me get my bearing straight, all this spinning. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> so really this training is almost like a obstacle course. And what you just seen, people don't move like that. I'm telling you. How these drills apply to game day, I mean, you know, all these drills have a meaning, you know, for a bigger guy to make sure I'm flexible, staying flexible and make sure that Scouts see that, you know, I'm not just a big, stiff guy, you know, I can move a little bit. But you want to make sure it look good and make it look pretty. Tonight, we went out at Storm, you know, having a little boys night. It's my first time out here. So first, buddy. Time to try new things. Oh, hey, it's stuck though, what you say? I thought I was going to be terrible, but I actually did pretty solid. We're going for gold next time. We're going to throw five axes each, high score takes it. Game on! Nah, JD Doug, yes sir, we do it. That's how you do it. If you was dead last in the championship bracket, you had to take a cold plunge. Come on, man, I gotta see a good game. Man. Okay, b racks coming out hot. Okay, George, tying it up. I did that for you. Brax, you gotta clutch it. Oh! I'm I'm we plunge it, what time, at the lift? Clink it. I'll never reveal my secret. Uh, give me that! Ah, uh, that's a three. You know, I made it to the championship round. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's five. Blaze had the most skills. You're, you're Thor, you got the hair and everything. He watches this on YouTube religiously. Oh yeah. Cause mostly in the wood. Yes. Yeah, I got a one point lead. Last throw. Ah! So I need a five. Or a clutch. Let's see what you can do. You wanna clutch it? I wanna clutch it. Let's do it. Alright. May God guide your axe. We lost, but you know, at the end of the day, we all have fun. That's all that matters. Oh my God! Oh my God! Hey, golly! What a championship round. We all here in Pensacola, um, getting ready, prepping for the um, combine. I'm about to head to PT here in a second. I got some little checkpoints I want to get to before I get, get to the combine. Just want to be walking straight. Sure, everybody, I'm doing good. Just really just move around well. My mindset going into the combine is really just to show up and show smiles, really just interview well, talk to some coaches. I'm just really excited about it and just ready to get through it for real. We at Exos right now in the Hydro Works pool, gonna get some rehab work in. It's a high tech way to get some good rehab and get back with moving in the water. So this is our HydroWorks pool. We utilize this for all different phases of rehab and strength and conditioning. We have a couple cameras in there with a different angle, so it's real-time feedback that the athlete can actually see and that they can correct. I want you to pause here, Jamo. And we want to lift that up a little higher because what I'm looking for is that your shins are parallel, so that really pretty running pattern. 
and up. Good. I just want to get it right. <laughs> it's it's kind of like building a puzzle, right? You need every piece. You need all of it. Yeah. Being able to see it and correct it immediately and repetitively really helps us kind of go to the next step. I was, it's different because it's kind of me trying to get back into the motions. This is a good place for him to be in because it takes the pressure off of his joints and allows him to move in ways that he may not be able to on land yet. And really gives him some confidence too because you are able to get so many safe reps in that feel good. When you're taken away from your sport, you, you start kind of feeling like a little bit of loss of identity. So this, we're getting like little pieces of his identity back. We're gonna do 15 more seconds, so I want you to give us everything. Make it look good. Drive, drive. Come on, j -Mo. don't let it beat you. You got this, come on. Go, 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 go. And done, good job, good job. I really get to feel what it feels like to kind of run. First time, first couple times, so feel good. It's tough, boy. Look at the cribs. Uh, feel like I'm on top. Is where I gotta be at, bro. All right, I took a break from training at Exos to come out here and visit the Super Bowl. And oh, yeah, this crazy. Whose crib is this, bro? We got this Call of Duty tournament going on. It's a whole lot of fun. We got some pro players. I recognize you. Hey, that's Jay Guy right there. You know we got Jay Guy. Matched up with some NFL players. Garrett, cuz. I already know, bro. Nice to I meet you. Know. Appreciate it. I heard you good at duty, too. I'm straight, cuz. Before I got in, I was talking hella trash, and that's just because I know that I do this Call of Duty stuff. It's my teammate over here, we finna go say what's up to Chino, bro. I'm Gary, dog. But whenever I saw I was playing with you, I was hella happy, cuz. Let's so, go. Hello. I'm glad we gotta run it up. I'm feeling good about what I'm about to do. I met my teammate. You know, Chino ain't seem too nervous, so, you know, I'm not nervous. I feel like we're gonna handle business. Damn, I should have brought my control freeze. Who we playing against right now? Are we playing against bro? Okay. I ain't gonna fake it. I ain't gonna be ready for this. Ah! Offense is impossible, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> my boy Matt weak, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Pulled through a perfect make, I see you, Chino. I mean, he's cold. So, like, I think he had, like, 49 kills. I had, like, 14 or something. You got 40? <laughs> He's carrying me a little bit, but it feels good to be carried. I'm not gonna lie, it feels good. Uh oh. I'll never be that nice at the game, I can't lie. Coming out here was cool to get myself a little break mentally and physically also. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Just wanted to you know, get myself a little day and see what this was about. See my family, see some friends, and get back to work. You know, I can't forget about what I'm here to do. Dinner, dinner. A bet to bet, a promise is a promise. He lost yesterday in the Axe Star competition. Braxton got a clutch. Oh, I'm plunging. Braxton got to take a cold plunge. But I wish we had a thermometer out here, but it is cold. I can't confirm. All in, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Look at the ground! Look, look at everybody! <laughs> Man. You know, that was nice and refreshing, honestly. After a good lift, arms, you just gotta pay up, though. Right now, we're at the Cornhole Speed Challenge. The rules of the game is throw as much bag as you can into the hole. One bag into the hole, that counts as three. If one hits the board, that's one point. And we got JD going up first. Let's see what he's working with, man. Don't do no cheating. 30 seconds. I did this. Hey, watch out. I'm an athlete now. Come on now. I got a bunch of old heads in my family. That go in the hole, that's, that's it right there. Right now, he got 10 seconds. That's cool. It's four, three, two, one, and How many is that? that one, one right. two, three, four, five, nine, 12, 15. JD hit 15, and that's the score to beat. Come on. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Hey, that, that. I gotta put some Three. You gotta go faster than that now, I ain't gonna lie. 10 Seven. seconds, and now we're going. Come on now. I tell you that. Eight. Something gotta hit, bro. Three, two, one. Oh, oh he did it. Oh, he oh. did it. He can't do that. That's not kidding. He can't do that. That's not kidding. He bro. can't do that. <laughs> hey. hey. One, two, three, four. See, I can't five, even get a real six, count, bro. Right? He cheated. He cheated. He always said it the cheated. first time. Right. He, he could do it. Come on now. Just like Bama, bro. Bama. 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 That's that Bama stuff I right won. there. All right. You saw what happened. I won. He Me. won, but, you know, for everybody out there, the viewers, JD won this one. He hit more. 
legal points, I guess, than uh, <laughs> J, than J Mo. That's not in the rule book. So how did I have to redo that? If I would have played, I would have won. No, I'm not gonna say that much. Heading to Excel this morning just to get some work in. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good receivers here, a lot of good players here, so competition level is really high. You know, you, it's really good for our training just to make sure you're knocking seconds off when it comes to 40 yard dash and getting stronger in the weight room, all those things. So they all they all correlate. You know, we got another day of work today, so looking forward to that. What's the elephant cartoon, bro? They talk hella slow, bro. Dumbo or Eeyore? I said Dumbo. I think it's Eeyore. 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 I don't think he's an elephant. <laughs> we out here working on our finishes for the 40 today. I've always been a strong finisher, but you know, going into this these last three weeks, I want to really clean up some things, clean up the small details, and hopefully run a you know high four three, low four four, that type of thing. I mean, I had always ran good time, so I'd been around that one eight six. 185 range, but um, you know I want to improve. You know, so when you train as hard as we do, you want to you want to see the progress. You want to get better every day. Head down, drive phase, run fast, boys. You gotta fly through it, and don't look technical. I don't want you upright looking pretty. Run through that. Sh I mean, all of us are supporting each other, so you know that's how it's supposed to be. We all want to see each other be great. Um, we all want to push ourselves. So you know, seeing someone else run a good time, you know, you want to run that time too. Yeah, I mean, I kind of took one around after I got that time just because I, I was feeling good. Once I heard Nick scream my time to me, I felt real good about it and I took a little victory laps. Your focus is now finishing through those gates, running through the gates. That's good. Let's get another one. Just thinking about, you know, putting everything into this, you know, I just wanted to clean up my technique and make sure I was getting out and really floating on the back end of that 40 yard dash. 180. 180 PR. I ended up with a 181 to start and then a 180. I felt like once I ran the 181, it would be hard to top that. But to put a 180 on the favorite, you know, I felt really good about it. Worth reason to sight It really brings out the competitive spirit in me. It uh, makes me feel good about what I'm doing. And, you know, it, it just reminds yourself why you're here, why you're training. And, you know, you see the results. And, you know, that's what this is all about. Hey, we just making strides, bro. But we ain't never satisfied. Yeah. Hey, just keep eating. Just keep eating. Hey, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang. You may think you know Garrett Wilson, but my journey is just beginning. And where I plan on going, there's just no room for average. Will your back hurt? I'm the, I'm the chiropractor right here. And then I put they come that's what he's I think you got it. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. We at Reach 11 Sports Complex. It's a hot day, but we out here running our 40s. I'm trying to PR today. <laughs> man, I see you came out here with the dripping ass thing, man. We out here in Arizona, you got the shoes. How much you drop on the bike? Uh, 500. 500 what? 500 dollars or 500 grand? Everybody, we just out here vibing, especially my boy Vontae. Vontae like my brother, so we always tied to the hip. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. You know, my name is Vontae, number 95, national champion. He makes this workout really enjoyable and really fun. We push each other. You know, we all support each other, so it's great. Let's get this thing, man. We're going to run fast today. You know, I'm a big guy, 330, so I just want to make sure, you know, I shot the world with my time, and I want to go so five in this combine. You know, for a big guy who can run like this, it'll be pretty amazing. Working on my start, I feel like my start could be a lot better. It was really about learning the technique beforehand. I didn't really know how to run, so now I'm learning like the little things and important stuff with my star and working on opening up with my legs when I'm on the top speed. It's really good. I'm really enjoying this process. There's no light build in and then take off. Fly right out of the gate. We're getting two reps. Make the first one your fastest. Yeah, I got a PR. We will. We will. We will PR. Everybody go PR. You a PR. Everybody, everybody PR. Slide, Bunt. Slide, Bunt. There you go. PR! Yeah! Me and Vontae, we always want to bring the juice and the energy, so it's good competition. We want to push ourselves, you know. We just out here having fun. Right there! Yes, sir. 208! 
Ah, I got it! Ah! Turn the time my PR, which is great. I didn't know I was this fast, but I had this potential. That's all you gotta do. Just stay smooth right through the end and keep fighting through it. Trying to get a little faster each day. Every time we come out here, we come out here each week, and I just want to get a new PR. Great runs from everybody. Work on three. One, two, three, one! Hey, Ma. You looking all bright and just visible. I know, it's uh, you know, the Arizona weather is treating me nice. <laughs> Boy, you looking like a hundred bucks over there. Your face all clear, bro. You no, I got, got, a little, got a little skincare routine. <laughs> what? It's, it's the West Coast glow, man. The West Coast glow. Is, is that what it is? Celebrity air? Oh. It seems so gloomy back home. All that snow and all that slush. It's just like, ugh. I don't know if I want to go know. back. <laughs> say that out your mouth. Say that. I don't right. want to say you don't want to come back home. You are the sun shine. Oh, it is my sunshine. Oh. My forever sunrise. That's what you are. That's why it's over there. You need to come back over here on the East Coast so we can get some more weather. Bring some, bring some light, some love. All right, baby. I'll talk to you later. I will. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. All right. I love you. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. That's mom, man. That is mom. Me and my mom, we talk about, you know, wherever city I land in, she's gonna follow. And, you know, I'm really, I'm a real family-oriented guy, so if I get homesick, I know, I, w I wouldn't even get homesick because she's my home. When I get enough money, I wanna pay off my mom's bills so she has a clean slate and fresh start. It's been times where she will give us the food off her plate just so we can eat. The sacrifices of a mom is really important and really heavy, and, uh, you know, I'm doing this to repair, so. It's like, you know, I be hard on myself sometimes because it's like I want to be perfect and I want to not let this moment slip away. Hello, Tyler. Hello. Feeling real good. We five out of surgery. Nice job. Today we got some pistol squats, balance beam. We was on a balance plate. Then I did a roll machine. New stuff added every day though. Is your foot burning in the arch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole leg working right now. Yeah. I just feel like we've just been getting a lot of good work in, doing the right things, and taking it at the right pace. And... Oh. Now really try and keep that knee to the left. Good. Any pain or anything? Nah. Good. You're getting back walking, that's, that's probably the best feeling. Walking up the steps, walking down the steps, just moving really. You're gonna have to tell Bryce and CJ that I'm coming for them. <laughs> Next week at the Combine, what they're probably gonna be doing, you know, they're gonna be looking at your range of motion, they're gonna be looking at how you're walking, and that's gonna start the moment you walk through the door. And then our goal is to try and get you to be ready when a team drafts you for training camp so that you're ready to play this next season. Yes, sir. You shout out to my guy Tyler, man. <laughs> been doing a real good job. It's just incredible what we accomplished these past five weeks. And it's only up from here. I'm out here in LA with my boy Zeke to check out my clothing line. We both from St. Louis. We probably known each other. 15, good 15. Oh, we ran track when we were younger. Yeah. Zeke is a guy who I looked up to for a long time. Prime versus prime, who, who's the faster one in track? Me. I think he could have me in the 300, me. but he couldn't see me in the 110. What I was telling him was to make sure you grind and you stay in focus. It's gonna get tough, but you're gonna be in the best shape of your whole life. We're gonna get the Officer Rookie of the Year. I, I'll put my money on it right now. <laughs> Scully Gang, that's the brand. It's just me and the fam. It's just something we brought ourselves closer with. I think the logo tough. I think the logo tough. We wanted it to be bright, wanted it to be loud, wanted it to be aggressive, kind of the way that he is. Look, got your like, Terminator here? Yeah. You ain't show me, dude. You ain't see me? Nah. Mark, Arson, they've been helping me a lot. Doing me different things, fabric and how we should do things. Hey, Arson, I got another little design I'm trying to do. You know how I do the crane kick when I score. I was thinking about doing something like putting that inside of the NBA sign. What you think about that? Yeah, we can flip that for you, for sure. The inspiration is really just him. What he's about, how he plays, the way he talks, and just trying to filter that through the product. Once you go into the draft and you figure out where you go, we'll kind of flip these and incorporate some of the colors of the team, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got an idea where are you going to go yet? I don't know. 
I love to see him on the Cowboys, man. Playing with Zeke in Dallas would be amazing. We're anticipating it doing well. His style and him shining through on the field is gonna work and people are gonna relate to it through his product. The merch is gonna be tough, so stay tuned. It's coming. It's just a start, but it feels good because it's been a lifetime dream. I'm hella excited. I've never done nothing like this before. Obviously, I came down here to train, but to be able to spend some time go karting with my friends, you know, it's definitely fun. The helmet was a little tight. This wasn't made for me. Jordan probably one of the funniest dudes I met. So, you know, we're going to make this thing work. I thought I was going to be the best coming in. Let's do the thing, man. Let's slide. I didn't know go karts would go this fast. I can't believe this is legal. Somebody hit me and threw my whole vibe off. I thought I was going to take care of him easy. Hey, I'm catching up, though. He gave all of us a run for our money, for sure. Watch this. I felt like I was flying in a Hellcat. And just pushing the whip, just push, 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 push. That's just hella fun though. I ain't gonna fake it, bruh. Two of them kids is professional. I know y'all see. You can tell, right? I also race outdoor, like uh, uh, gas carts out there. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. Oh yeah, so yeah. so yeah, we was yeah, we we had no chance there. Oh, this is where it is. So we get the widest exit possible, okay. And then cut in on that second uh, black curve. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. What do you mean by cut? Try and go outside and then go back and swoop down. How much break though? Pull on the brake yeah. and then off. Okay. Bump up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I was moving kind of slow. <laughs> so I, I really need this the most. So. Appreciate you, Giovanni. I'm about to be dead last. We in a race with a bunch of pros. I love drifting. It's a rush of adrenaline. There's nothing better than that. I was just telling myself, like the little race tactics, like take the line, or oh, I gotta overtake this. This process get hectic. You get a little homesick and everything. It's good to have a little fun and good to spend time and break bread with your boys. I think I redeemed myself that time around. Let me get a pick with this trophy right here. Man, you can't take a picture with that. I'm the winner. I don't know if I can do that. Nah, I might really just get that there. Today, yeah. What are you most looking forward to then? A new start. A new start, yeah. And now you're finna go on to this journey and I guess I gotta lead the nest, you feel me? Yep. New city, new teams, new goals, you know? Definitely. What was it about Georgia that made it stick to you? See, I was a three star and Georgia just showed me the love like I was a five star, you know? Like, I mean, the only ranking that matters is the NFL draft. That's it. You know what I mean? That's the only one that matters. That's the only one that has like significant value. So it's like you got to keep your eyes on the prize, and I feel like you did that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm more excited for people to see his personality, though, man. What's yeah. under the helmet, man? <laughs> yeah. For real. Everybody just think you like this big monster walking around. Now we got to show up and show out. Come by, you know. Definitely. Journey just began. You know, you know, you just enjoyed that, you know. We had a nice little meal, but you know, <laughs> tomorrow we go back to that nutritional plan. Back bro. to the brown back, boxes, back, man. Back to the brown boxes at XO. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. You may think you know Jordan Davis. And in this game, there's no shortage of expectations, predictions, and opinions. But the best part about expectations is redefining them. Combine, Jordan, you went, you, you participated. What's the other takeaways from there? Um, it's definitely not like how the people say it is. It's the day of the Combine, and I'm gonna meet my mom. She came out to see me. And I'm glad she's in Indy with us. It's filling her in the stadium, it's gonna be crazy. She's my Amazing. rock, my soul. Everything. She calms me down. She calms me down. She reassures me when I get worked up and it's just overwhelming and hectic. She's my calm place. She's my home. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. You're going to kill it. You're going to absolutely kill it. Just having her here in Indy, 
it means a lot. You know, it just shows the support that we had to each other. She's here in Indy. Great. Only have but so much time nowadays, but she's working with it, and honestly, I'm so forever grateful for that. Yeah, well. Love the support from moms, and um, just ready to grind, man. Jamon, tell us about your experience at the combine. I had MRIs and everything, medical interviews. Only thing I didn't do was the workout. How's the recovery going? Uh, recovery's going well. Uh, I'm about six weeks out of surgery. I've uh, been walking well, uh, walking without the brace for about two weeks, walking without the crutches for about three weeks. Your timeline? I'm sick of these questions over and over and over. I'm six weeks out of surgery right now. I've been, like I said, I've been walking without the brace for two weeks, without the crutches for three weeks, stable. Timeline for you, you anticipate you can get to a training camp in time? Or? Uh, it's, it's not something I'm going to rush, but hopefully that can happen. When are you hoping to come back and play? I just answered that. James, what are you hearing from the teams as far as how the injury will affect your job? I ain't worried about that. I haven't heard anything. No, no team has ever actually told me like it will hurt me or not. So, hey, what is, how did injury get you? I was just trying to get that to show them the injury didn't affect man. Uh, we're gonna be right back. Really, that's it. Be able to come out here and do what I love and show off some things. I feel really blessed. It's really special to be out here. I gotta prove some people wrong on the 40. I'm gonna be lying if I said that I didn't see what people were saying about what they think I'm gonna run. If I'm holding you back with this bungee, you're not pushing. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to be in the four threes. You know, that was kind of my goal, but different people had different ideas, and I just thought it was funny that they thought that they could know what I was going to run. Like, they were some expert on, on that type of thing. Hand up, hips up. I'm excited to get out there and do what I do. Going to the Omni, finna get a little training there before the big day. We on the field at four. You know, they start taping at four, and that's when we run our 40. This day right here can make and break everything. Unless he owes you some money. If he owes you money, no, I'm his sister. Mom always make a joke. What up, kid? Your boy got a big job interview today. Talking to my little brothers always get me motivated. Y'all pray for me. Okay, we will. Love y'all boys. I'll see y'all soon, okay? Right. Everything I do is for them and my fam. Every second counts, but every millisecond counts. I gotta remember everything that I learned up to this point. Just stay smooth right through the end and keep fighting through. All the workouts in that hot sun led up to this. And all these naysayers that you gonna like shut their mouths today? Just send them the receipts of your videos. Just send them receipts. There's no doubt having my mom is gonna make me run faster. God, thank you for another opportunity for these boys to show their talent, guys. Four games, big events, big decisions. I'm always praying my mom, so when she's there and she's praying for you, I feel like everything is gonna be fine. So I can just focus on doing my best and letting God take care of the rest. Did you eat? Again with the food, man. I swear I eat when I'm hungry. Definitely a lot of nerves before I ran. Um, it's hard to practice being in that moment, but uh, I feel like I did a good job of bottling up and not letting it slow me down or maybe even make me faster. And then it popped up and I was like jumping around, talking trash. It was fun. Bro, I'm so proud of you, man. Appreciate that. So proud of you. I did what I wanted to do, um, ran well. You know, I'm feeling good about it. Eighth fastest of all the receivers, that. yep. Okay. And that was the one question mark, and you just glazed it. I told y'all I was fast. You did great. You did good. Yeah, my pops was there as well. He uh, drove me home after. And, uh, you know, I didn't have to wait till that next morning and get up on a 6 a.m. flight. And my dad took me home that same night. I mean, I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> it was really a special time to spend it with my pops. And just for him to do that for me was huge. You ran the 40, right? Yeah. You, did, you actually did really good. I would say, yeah. It's crazy. You know, I go in, I say I'm going to run sub five. When I got the official time back, I was like, man, but like, it's crazy. It's crazy. The adrenaline, the adrenaline is something different. The adrenaline carries you. And The Rock tweeted, 
Yeah, yeah. Can you smell? And I've been watching The Rock since I was a kid, so getting a shout out from him is amazing to me. I used to want to be a WWE wrestler. If you smell, nah, I ain't even gonna do it. Maybe, maybe one day that'll be something I venture off into, but for now, I'm gonna just stick to football. Yes. I got you a lot of money, though. I'll tell nah, you that much. Real. That bumped you up even more. You were already a high pick, but I would just. Probably. So now we get to the fun part. We're going back to y'all home turf for the pro day. Maybe tell me about senior teammates. Uh, I was there to um, talk to my teammates, encourage them really. So that was really the main part of me showing up. I know how it is being a, a part of the Crimson Tide. So my time there, I know that I did as much as I can to help us to help us win. What's some things that you feel like you, know, you left behind? I would say I gave them my all every time. I was on the field, uh, you could see that. It's just part of the way I play football. Going back to Georgia's Pro Day, so how was it like for you to, to see your family in there and, and going back and seeing your teammates for what could be the last time? And before y'all go y'all separate ways. Definitely, it was bittersweet. It was like the last time we were all together. You know, we definitely cherished that moment and enjoyed each other. And then just grinding together. You know, we went there for a mission. We wanted to maximize our value. So there's a lot of people there. We had a lot of eyes on us, but the most important people was my family. So I had my mom and my little brothers there and her fiance, so. Um, just being able to grind in front of them and see my progression yeah. is probably the biggest thing. What up, Overtime? It's your boy JD, and we out here at Pro Day, home of the national champions, Georgia Bulldogs. A home field advantage is everything. I'm completely confident in whatever I do here. I just came out here and worked. <laughs> Six, six, six First, we got to get our height and weight check. Jordan Davis. For my height and weight, I was thinking obviously 6'6". Six, six. I'm not going to get any bigger. 6'0", 6'2". And then for my weight, I wanted to stay around 340. 341. 341. Man, breakfast is morning. Poor Dad Georgia is wild. Hey. Man, we got teams everywhere. You know, you had the likes of Bill Belichick, Coach Tomlin. Matt Patricia, like all those guys. So it was great to just be out there and hanging out and supporting my guys. It's only right to be supporting each other when it's our biggest time and it's our biggest test on the big stage. Look, this is a brotherhood that carried us all the way to the national championship. For us to be around each other for the last time, you know, at our home turf all together, you know, it's one of those things that's kind of bittersweet and sentimental. Pro day, I'm just gonna do the D-line drills. I can't sit around all day, it's time to put in the work. The pressure's on, pressure either creates diamonds or busts pipes. I think out here at Georgia, we're all diamonds, and we just shine bright. I was just trying to show how I move. At Georgia, I feel like, you know, I was a good run stopper. I needed to show the NFL personnel that I needed to be a better pass rusher, and they could see that I had the tools to do that. Do everything at 100 miles per hour. Don't let them see you tired, don't let them see you weak, don't let them see you slip. When I see how many people was there, I was like, dang, like, we really did it. So, you know, you just had to put on a show for everybody. Was any part of the combine that you did surprising to you? The 40, um, I think that's surprising for everybody. I got my unofficial time, I was like, whoa. And then when I got my official time, I was like, holy schmoly. <laughs> What team have you been talking with here? I don't know if I'm allowed to say. It's really been a blur. This is what I dreamed of. This is what kids dream of. This is what dreams are made of. So coming out here and having this opportunity, I'm blessed. All right, appreciate y'all time. Love hey. y'all, I'll see you. <laughs> I'm just grateful to be out here and working, you know, as we did what we've been working for for the past six months. So just being out here and putting that final exclamation mark on to the top 30 visits and you know, private workouts, you know, this part is really behind us. You may think you know Jordan Davis, and in this game, there's no shortage of expectations, predictions, and opinions. But the best part about expectations is redefining them. Uh, we out here in Tuscaloosa for Pro Day. Uh, finna go out here, see some of the guys work. Uh, talk to some coaches, some, some scouts. Uh, really just go out here and support my guys, man. They the ones competing today for a spot on the roster. We all competing, but 
Just hope and pray everybody do good, man. They get you some money. We at Alabama football facility. I'm gonna give you a tour of where I used to be at every day. Yeah, I'm everywhere. This should just show you that this is the best school in the nation ever. Just look at the numbers. 74, first round draft picks. My QB, man. The Bryce Young Heisman Trophy. Seeing this trophy, man, just bring a lot of memories back. It's just a great season playing with this guy, man. He's going to do some great things coming up. You don't see nothing but greatness on this wall. You see me. 2021, Jameson Williams. It's a blessing. You see, if you get the opportunity, anything is possible. I'm first team. I never thought it. You know, I'm here, though. All these players are motivation to me. I watched these players growing up. Me in those same category with those guys, it just means a lot, really. See right here, we got all the teams. Each Alabama player has been drafted to. We go all the way back to 1956, even. Looking and seeing all these guys, it just makes me wonder, like, what team I'm going to be playing for. It should be fun. Uh, last little month, we're heading into the draft, man. Talking to people and just hearing good things, but you know, can't really tell until it happens. It's my favorite place in the whole facility right here. Everybody on this wall, first rounder. It's just filled with motivation. You walk down this hallway every day. How could you not get motivated seeing all of these? This is the one I want for me right here, though. I used to look at this every day. It's not if, it's when. Next month, I'm going to be right there. Right here is the weight room. It's not nothing in here that can't get you better. They got everything possible. That's so where we got the indoor practice at. This field right here, though, that just bring back a lot of memories. Going against some great, great defensive players, man. This is just a fun, exciting time, you know? Part of Alabama football. This right here, I would say this is where SG thrives at. It's a lot of touchdowns being scored in this stadium from a lot of great players, not just me. Let's go over here by Coach Saban's statue, though. We got the GOAT of all college football coaching, Coach Saban. My statue is probably going to go up in St. Louis. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all can give me a little statue around here, though. That would be great. It should, mine should be right here behind Coach Saban like this. I should have mine like this. Hey, I had a lot of memories, man, but nothing is remembered more than playing with the guys, man, having fun with the guys, winning football, playing football, just having fun, really, all, of, all around. This has been a real good journey, man. I appreciate everybody for that. My pro day was kind of different. My pro day was me and just interacting with coaches. Another day check off, another day close to the draft, another day close to the dream, really. Hey, y'all boys. Y'all gotta tighten up, y'all gotta tighten up. Y'all see, language, language. I'm out here with the guys, man, we finna get paid. I'm excited to be here, excited to be back. Support my guys, seeing them go to work, seeing them get money, make money, man. I seen Bill Belichick. I had a meeting with him last night, so that wasn't a surprise. What up, how you doing? Jameson, how you doing? It was more coaches than I thought it was. It was actually packed. You know Zell? Nah, I'm Jameson. I'm Jameson. Nice, nice to meet you too. That's how it is at Bama, I see. How's everything going? Everything going good. Today was like my first day without the sleeve, so they could actually get a look at it. Yeah. Ten weeks right now, I'm a savage. You got them good jeans. Got them good jeans. Savage. And that's really why I came out here, just to show them I'm doing well. <laughs> I was just excited for the guys out here today, really. I wanted everybody to do their best. Just those guys competing, man, doing what we do best. Ooh. Playing football, doing the drills, really just giving it their all, really just with all these scouts out here, just showing them what we can do. I see you, boy. Just showing them that it, this pick will be really worth it. It was straight. The only thing that got me ready to do something was the 40s. <laughs> what time they start the 40s? Oh, we got 40s now? We got the 40s now? I wouldn't run a 40s so bad, but you know, with the circumstances, I can't. I'm finna see my boys run this 40 though. My, my 40 would have looked like the highest GPA, 39, 40, 401, one of them. This is the guy, Bryce Young, D number nine, the slinger. This is the stepper, <laughs> big SG. <laughs> the dot man, the dot man. When y'all see the ball in the earth, this is where it came from. Boom, it came from him. 
Magic, the Magic Man. Most of these guys I haven't seen in Cincinnati. Oh, man. I'm good. How you? Coach Rose. We had a real good time being out here together. Something I'm just gonna miss about this place is really just the culture. Something I just been looking forward to doing my whole life, getting drafted, going to pro day. I'm really excited to be a part of the journey and and just really just live it up. Yes, sir. It's great to be back in Ohio. About to get some work in. Get ready for our pro day tomorrow. Pro day is really important. It means a whole lot to the GMs and the people making the draft picks that get the players paid at the end of the day. So you got to put a lot of energy, a lot of focus into it. And uh, it comes with a lot of stressful days for sure. I feel like I did all right at the combine, but didn't really do what I wanted to do. Being comfortable with the quarterback and having an opportunity to throw with CJ, it's like old days will be big for me. Man, I get my sh right too. I think I was, I was shorter, long or something. I wasn't training routes as I should have been going into combine because I'm so focused on the running. Ah, come on! Now with this week, I got time to focus and specialize on my route running. You know, getting on the same page with CJ. Y'all still want to do that scramble shit? We got to do right now. Yeah, if we, if we feeling good tomorrow, like if we got all good film on the fit, yeah. then. Let's just end that hood. Hunting for a hundred. And making everything look crisp. I feel like we're gonna do that tomorrow. We're getting this hook. I'm digging, I'm digging. I ain't gonna fake it. I can't get overthrown this time. <laughs> ah, I almost dropped that. Good ball. Hell, that'd be a, that's a ball, yeah. I'm, I just gotta let it land outside. I'm tripping. I mean, it, it don't get any better than being back at O-State and being with all your boys, you know, that you've been with since you uh, came in O-State, you know, especially. <laughs> I'm really excited to finish things up the right way. Got to go crazy tomorrow. Pro Day is here. I put a big emphasis on today, just showing how comfortable I am going through those drills. Another deposit and, you know, show all the scouts what I'm capable of doing. I'm not going to lie, going to sleep last night and then waking up this morning, I was a little nervous. But once I got here and, you know, kind of felt the energy, felt good. I'm trying to go right now. I, I hate standing around. You get in that mindset that you're about to go and then you kind of got to stand around for a little bit. I know he prepared, he's ready. Competitively, he's always going to meet the challenge. That's just the way he is. First post route, the ball was on the ground. My stomach was feeling a little jambled up. I thought I was digging. I was digging on no, the hill. No, you, no, you dig. But you dig. No, he, he's right. You look up and then you, you look dig. You look up. Okay, second okay. Time. Okay. 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 Okay.
um, took over and led his team back, and that definitely solidified that to me that he was going to you know, do, do big things. I see you, Lloyd. This is Jay right here, oldest brother, and he the man too. For my family, it's always been about achieving the highest. So as you see with Garrett, he's just doing it on a very national scale. And this Cam right here, this is my older brother. G Money, he's my guy. We're proud of him. You feel like you're holding the lottery ticket or anything? <laughs> my family had to make sacrifices for me to get in this position, all, the, all those things, you know? So I can't say lottery ticket, but I'm just super blessed and I'm super thankful. I'm super grateful for Garrett's ascension and for meeting the challenge of, of what he's been doing. I'm proud of your son. But you know, I'm proud of all of you. Proud of all of you kids. My expectation for all of you is extremely high. And I want to say I salute all of you. Toast. Yeah, yeah, Cheers. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wrap on Pro Day. Uh, we did what we had to do, got some good work in, showed the scouts what we wanted to. On to the next step. I'm in Georgia. Time is quickly approaching where I'm not going to be able to come back every week or like come back every once in a while. I'll be in my own city and own grind. Getting you set for the Braves and Nationals. We talk so much about the World Series and everything the Braves accomplished. We have another champion, a national champion, Jordan Davis joining us here on the set. You're going to be out there. You're throwing out the first pitch today. Have you, have you practiced at all? Are you ready to go out there? How far is it? That's it? Yeah. It looked farther on TV. Absolutely not. I don't want to tear nothing. I need a little <laughs> bit of time in the dugout. Ooh. <laughs> if all else fails, I'm going to just give an underhand softball pitch. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Go Thank you. Congratulations, man. Appreciate you, Coach. Good luck to you going forward, dude. Thank you. Yes, sir. following you. For sure. Glad you could come out. This is awesome. A little nervous. They don't want to throw a grounder, but do it straight down the middle. Can't get no better. Harry, you gonna walk by me and not show me no love? Come on now. I wish they had the gun so I can see how fast it was. I, like it. I never doubted myself. Me again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you know after football and my my off season I can play a little baseball spring game. Congratulations. Glad you're here. Thank First you, strike, man. too, man. Oh, yeah, man. I appreciate it. I you guys tried get to. your rings yet? Not yet. The seniors had an opportunity to decide what the championship ring looked like. That's nice. That's the ballpark. It lights up, and that's those X's are all the home runs that they hit. Right. I can't give too many details because I want it to be a surprise, but it's going to be really nice. It was beautiful. Y'all better look like that. 41 <laughs> years, I don't man. think ours is going to flip, man. <laughs> Tell Kirby to straighten that stuff out. Man. Right, right, right. I think that it's going to be something special. It's a special way to commemorate the season and commemorate our win. What was uh, winning the national championship like for you guys? It was, it was the same. You know, the whole state is still buzzing off it, and this is just a great thing to be a part of. It was a great year to be a dog, a great year to be a brave. Can't write it better. For now, we're just going to enjoy the moment that we have and just keep going. Today, we got a Papa Shot Challenge with J-Mo, Bama, Bama's best. Road tie right here. All time, greatest school in the universe. Oh my god. Uh, anyway. uh, then we got. I guess I have to introduce myself. It's the boy JD. The defending national champion. Come get at me. Three, two, one. Get it. See, we got J-Mo. J-Mo too damn J-Mo. J-Mo, we need you right now. J-Mo, we need you. I messed up at the beginning. I was shooting with two hands. We got, of course, we got JD right now. Heavy handed. They don't heavy handed. Nah, this is I mean, soft touch. What you talking strong. about? I had to. Jay, Jay, hurry up, please. We need to win. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh catching up. Ah, oh. three, two. I'm tripping. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Come here. <laughs> Chill. JD had to come through with the popper shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't lose to the Bama boys. G baby. Yeah. It was straight though. He got it done. Uh, it was fun though. He cheated. Georgia. That's what they're good at. It's all right though. The rivalry continues. You're gonna play this game again. Would you do something different? Oh yeah. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. For sure. I ain't gotta say too much. Winners win, losers lose. House of pain, man. House of pain, baby. House of pain. Painful. Workouts, painful. Practices, painful. Jackson Bees, you better go off. What up? What are we looking like today? 
Yeah, How many recessions? Today's gonna be fun, man. You know, we back home. Right. What's up, baby? What up, dude? What's up? Oh my God. Don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all acting like I never come around. We get our rings today. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, you can't throw like that, can you? Who? Hey, it was a no uh <laughs> disappearing. We get uh, see Sanford Stadium. I guess we're going to spectators, not uh players. So it's gonna be a little weird. What up OT? It's your boy JD, and we sit here at G Day in Athens, Georgia, watching the boys play. You see that? At the Beautiful, ain't it? Rain ceremony. I'm wearing this all 2022. Too hard. <laughs> we are the champions. Power Rangers. You're like Thanos. Put them in. I know, right? Power. Right. Okay, the here on the sidelines. They just received their national championship ring. Bonte, can you show it? All right. How does it look? What do you think of it now that it's on your hand? Beautiful. You know, we designed it ourselves to see it. This is our baby right here. We treasure this. Are you slimmer? Does he look slimmer to you guys? I mean, yeah, I mean you know a little bit. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all gonna make me blush, man. Y'all so flattering. <laughs> We're going on top. This is where all the old people go. You know, we old now, man. We old head. G. Right here. The whole face. I like how the how the 99 is flooded too. It's beautiful. It say family. And then on the inside, you can get a little bit on the inside too. That thing hard. It's too hard. You know the boys out there balling. Jackson Meeks. Jackson Meeks just got one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Big West. What up, baby? What up, Nas? All dogs go home. It's weird being a spectator, but it's great just being home. You feel the love. I love y'all. You on the field. It's sad that you're not playing. That boy keep balling, man. Good deflection. I like it. Keep working. I just enjoy the time I have here now and think about all the memories I have with these boys. It's just amazing to be back home. What's up? We're here at the highlight room. This is where we watch some of our highlights from our high school. We're gonna start off with my highlights, the best. <laughs> Let me show y'all what greatness looked like just for a minute, just so I can show y'all what's all been doing seen last year. Before. So right now, this is a little bit of hurdle. Get out of my way, please. Thank you. Go goodbye. All right, right now I see this dude. He's too little. Hurdle. Goodbye. So right now I was I was, I was in the Olympics. This highlight's like 20 minutes long. Man. That's crazy. Oh, you watched it? I was seeing it right there. Look, it's 20 minutes. No, did you watch my highlights in high school? Of course we watch your highlights. You watch my highlights in high school. So, you know, as you can see, like, you know, everybody watched the highlights in high school. So I think mine's better. This yours right here, huh? Yeah. Obviously, special teams, terrible kick, first of all. Crib, though. Oh, my gosh. Who is he playing against? It don't matter. He gone. Oh, no, Najee. I don't oh, know, Najee. Look, look, look. No kids on the block. Look, oh. look, look. I don't know. You might get Najee oh, around for his money, though. Now we're about to get in. Georgia zone. JD. Hold on, hold on. Before we start, I got something to say. I ain't no offensive player. I'm a defensive lineman. You ain't gonna see all that star studded. <laughs> oh, you got a pink. Give me that. Oh, you see that? You see that? Look at everybody. Look at the crew. Look at the game, man. <laughs> you, don't look, you don't look that big. Because everybody was big. That's why. That's what I'm saying. We was like that. So we're wrapping up the highlights. Y'all can have your own opinions of who won. But, you know, my opinion, I think. I got the best highlights. Uh, <laughs> so, so, you know, obviously I went again two weeks in a row. The kid. Bias. It's rigged, man. It's rigged. You may think you know Jameson Williams. But if you really know me, you know that obstacles in my way can only make me stronger. St. Louis right now. A nice place to be from, straight place to be from. First, I'm gonna just start, like, you got Jason Tatum, you got Brad Bill. 
We got the youngest coming up. Me, we got some people still in school. St. Louis got uh, one Hall of Famer. And I'm finna be the second one. It's home. Like, you, you go to another city, it's probably, like these people don't know you for real, but they say they love you because of what you do. These people back home, they love me because of who I am, because they know me. So I'm always, I love for it for sure. We out here at Emo's in St. Louis with my boy Q, finna get some food, St. Louis food. Chilling before the drive, so ready to just come check it out. Hey, what time he scored five touchdowns? We played boys and we went hand that game. I ain't even gonna lie. I knew he was going from to the NFL that day. You ready though, bro? How you feel, brother? High school, middle school, like, it never changed. We have been doing this every level. Ain't gonna stop him now. Best piece in the loop. They all got this nowhere else. The best piece in the world. For real, so, yeah. Just like you remembered it? Still the same. You know? <laughs> Nothing changed. Something never changed. You shut me right up. I ain't even talking no more. I appreciate you joining me for the drive, man. Coming back to the crib, kicking it with me. Enjoying some of this St. Louis food, man. We have my high school in Conorita. I'm gonna start right here. I ain't gonna lie, I only got one trophy in here. That scene, we were undefeated, though. We just lost that state, man. I just wish we would've got that one, man. We should have got that one for sure. But it is what it is, you know. Can't go give me a Super Bowl now. We're gonna go to the track though. Right here. This us right here, state champs. I think I had like 37 points, just me, just winning the event. I could have beat like 14. But I did everything. I did 100, 200, 400, 300 hurdles. I should have ran in college. Probably the one national. Like, we always said this was gonna happen. The hype around him was everywhere. When I tell you every coach in America was visiting prospective students, wanted to come because Jameson was at Cardinal Ritter College Prep. He was becoming a household name around St. Louis. But in the school, he was just, you know, Jameson. God. <laughs> We in the new weight room. This wasn't my weight room. Everything new now. Good floor, everything, you know. Little turf over there. She got the racks. The TVs, all that. Uh. <laughs> I put a laundry room over here, man. Like, we got a laundry room, man. They luxury now, man. I just want him to know that this is his legacy. This wouldn't be here without Jameson. And that's real talk. The attention that the school was getting when Jameson was out there playing. Yeah. Jameson was being interviewed by one of our local news stations. The coach called me and said, hey, the news station is here to interview Jameson, but we are at another high school because our field wasn't at that time good enough. I had none of this. I had straight dirt muddy holy field. So we were actually borrowing another field. And at that moment, I just knew that, that we had to do better. Uh, my first time seeing this though. That was really what sparked it, was that moment when, when Jameson was needing to be interviewed and couldn't be interviewed here. Them boy got turf now. We ain't have all this. We ain't had no turf when we got here, bro. It feel tough, though. I ain't gonna lie. They got the black track, too. We used to get busy out here, man. Jameson has already left a legacy. This is my legacy. This is like, this make me feel good. Seeing my young boys come out here, getting a chance, go ball on something like this. They ain't got to play on what I played on. You know, everything advanced. Cardinal Ritter College Prep is family. This is home. So when Jameson comes here, he's he's at home. He's coming home. <laughs> we are just cheering him on and so very proud of him for all that he's accomplished and, and for what he's going to still accomplish. I just want to see the culture. That's it. This is where I'm from. Like I told you, this is where I'm from. The place I love the most. So I always be coming back for sure.
We is out here in Austin, Texas. Ain't G5 out here? Ain't, ain't you from here? Yeah, let me, let me call him and see. Hey, yeah, call G5, see what you need some recommendations. Yeah, yeah I know he know what, what to do out here. Place to eat, place to go. Yo, what up? What up, G5? What's what up, dude? Oh, how y'all boys doing in my city? Hey, you the plug, bro. Where can we go to kick it? You got a mall or something? Yeah, we got a mall, bro. It's called Hill Country Galleria. A mall to kick it? Shoot, that's what I do at home. Walk around the mall. <laughs> and then that's it. Elementary. <laughs> they got a few spots over there you can shop at. I don't know if it'll fit you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where we gotta eat at, man? Torchy's Taco is real good, right next to the high school. And then there's also this crepe spot that's kind of close to that Torchy's as well. Thank you so much. This looks super fire right here. Same order that I would get growing up. The cinnamon crepe right here, which is super good, old reliable. And then the classic crepe, which is strawberries, bananas, and Nutella. Ooh, about to go crazy. That's fire. When I was in high school, definitely ate here more than I should have. It was kind of just eat whatever and, and try to gain as much weight as possible. It wasn't good for me, but it was really good food. That's fire. It's always good to come back you know, to a place you're familiar with like this that I grew up going to. You may think you know Garrett Wilson, but my journey is just beginning. And where I plan on going, there's just no room for average. This is where I grew up. I really fell in love with football in Lake Travis. Moved down here and was a basketball guy, but when I got down here and saw the energy and how the city shuts down for a high school football game, you know, I kind of fell in love with all that. Yeah, what's, what's up, man? You all right? Yep. Good to see you. Being able to see drink water for the first time in a while was super awesome. Um, it's been too long, you know, since I've seen him, so. Um, it, it was awesome to see him. You ready for the draft? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. Me too. I can't wait. Yeah. Where are you going to go? If only I knew. I knew as well as you do. <laughs> I don't know. No clue. <laughs> the best thing about Garrett, though, I'll be completely honest, is who he is as a person. He was the best player we had ever had and uh, did amazing things for us on the field, but truly just the community, they love him because he's that kind of guy. <laughs> Come on, let's go in here and check this out. Let's do it. I left my keys in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> It's still off, y'all. It's Wilson Corner right here. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> you got some more pictures up here. Oh, this is tough. Madison. I think There's that's against uh, Madison. Me and Alec right here. It's my dog. The one where you jumped over the kid from Allen. That's up here somewhere. Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah. That's awesome. That was on the ESPN Top 10. I remember that. All right, here's your state championship right here. This was your team. Yeah, that was a squad right here. It's awesome to be back. It makes me feel like I'm 16, 17 again. 16 right there, 16 years old. Sophomore year, right? Sophomore year. You guys were loaded. We were loaded. We got Charlie right here, yep. Austin, Sam. Malik. Malik. Cade. Okay, Brewer. You know, to be able to play with friends you love and, and do it at a really high level, I mean, in high school, you know, it doesn't get better than that anywhere. The hard bodies right here, yeah. OG hard bodies. <laughs> and Malik was like a hybrid hard body because he played running back. That team was special. We had like 15 D1 recruits on that team and we all were really close friends as well. That's probably the best team we ever had. We won it at 6A, don't get much better than that. So you're about to have your own spot right here. We're gonna put you up on the wall wherever you get drafted. You, Baker, Brandon, and whoever else gets drafted this year. The fact that he comes back and shows us how much he cares about us and reciprocates is just amazing. To be able to come back and see your face on you know, some things that, um, it's just really special. It's just everything I could dream for. You remember this place? The field? I forget, man. It's just as beautiful as I remember. It doesn't get better than this. This is kind of where it all started. No, for sure. What's your favorite memory from playing here? We just were so blessed to play here and play the competition we did and have a town that cared about and supported us like they did. Every game we came out here was a different experience and it was awesome. I've seen you do some unbelievable things on this field. There's Mr. Hudson. I gotta go say what's up, I gotta go. Mr. Hudson. 
How are you? Good, good to see you. Right, well, I'm doing Taking great. Care? I'm doing great. Appreciate yeah, that. Appreciate you. that. Good to see you. Congrats. How you doing? Yeah, it's like good to see you. It's been a long time. Cool. You all right, man? It's crazy you in high school now, bro. That's crazy, man. I'm so thankful that I grew up here and you know, people supporting me and, and helping me get to where I'm at now. I got to go. I got to take off. Yeah. But before I leave, we're going to put a little highlight up there of somebody you might recognize. Let you check that out. That's what's up. Sound good? Up. Yeah. Good luck in the draft. Appreciate that, Drake. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Okay, take Be care. in touch, man. You already know. All Appreciate right. you, Drake. I haven't seen any of these plays in, in two, three years. Every now and then I would go and watch my high school highlight tape in my freshman year in college just so that, you know, I would have confidence going into my games. And I wanted to just see myself making plays so that I, you know, knew that I was still capable of doing that stuff. I mean, besides that, you know, I haven't seen any of these in forever. Ooh, I remember that play. Out of bounds, they called me out of bounds. I thought I caught it. Yeah, it was the first game of the year right there, Arlington Martin. We went up to Dallas in their first play. And I broke my back senior year. This is my first game back, actually, yeah. I missed like five games with a broken back. And this game right here was my first game back, first round of the playoffs. Get off me. They was little. They was super little. They way smaller than everyone I play against now. I always had good sellies too. Celebrating on all these a little bit. But I was so blessed to be at a place like here and then to see all the things that we did. That stuff will live on forever and I'm just so happy that I was a part of that. I'm happy to be back home right now for sure. It's a great place to grow up. You got water, you got nice weather. I'm really thankful I grew up in Lake Travis. About a week out, NFL draft, so just wanted to kick back with one of my good friends, Jake, and play some ping pong. My dog. Up, bro? How you doing, man? I moved here in sixth grade, and we were on the same little league team. You know, ever since then, we've been best friends. Dude, Let's do it. Garrett's a great guy, funny, always competition. Let's put 20 on it. All right, bet. Let's put 20 on it. I think I'm gonna win every time I play, whatever it is. That's one. Jake's a good opponent, but I feel good about what I'm bringing to the table. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. No technique involved. I was just trying to get it on the other side. I really don't know how to play. The shot. Oh, I was trying to kill that. I'm always competitive against him in everything we do. He gonna try and attack my backhand, watch this. <laughs> that would have been filthy. <laughs> Tried to hit him with the behind the back ping pong move. I had seen that on Twitter, so I wanted to try it. Oh. Didn't quite work, but just the fact that I made contact, you know, I felt pretty good about it. That would have been hard though. I tried it. Oh! I'm playing good ball right now. <laughs> this is the best ping pong I ever played. Oh! What a shot, G! That was the luckiest shot I've ever seen. And I mean. <laughs> Game point right here, winner take all. Let's go. Oh! Let's go! Good game, bro. What you mean, bro? Good game, brother. Good game. Tough battle. Yes, sir. There's always a competition, so you win some, you lose some. He got me in ping pong, so we'll live to see another day. I don't think y'all seen how I played it. I can definitely talk some trash in ping pong. I can talk trash in anything. Checkers, shoots and ladders, it really don't matter. I can talk trash in anything. Y'all seen that. I'm gonna get my revenge next time I face one ping pong for sure. It was fun, it brought back some good memories. So, you know, I think whenever I get a spot, I'm gonna end up getting the table as well just to take some stress off. It's Sunday, four days away from the drive. On Thursday, we are here in New Orleans. Get a lot of work in, good work in. Feeling real good, moving well. We'll go to the field, we'll start our band work. I haven't did anything like this in a while. Be our first day actually running with them, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you wore socks today? No. <laughs> I guess when you're fast, you're fast, doesn't really matter. <laughs> no socks for socks. Today we're gonna do some speed ladder with them, some ball catching with 40 yard runs. The biggest thing is we're trying to see if you can run, see if that knee drive's good, and see if you can kind of get a little vertical for us. It'll be good for the NFL team to see how he's doing. It's good people, a good relationship. It's coached me hard, and that's really what I like, so. Ladder's very important, right? Out the ladder, I'm throwing to you, catch it, catch it, and tuck. Nice. J 
just taught me a lot of things about the tuck, catch tuck. NFL is way more different, way more aggressive. Catch and tuck. Just little tips that's going to help me in the NFL. Excellent. That's how to get before that DB. Great job. Seeing him catch the ball, smooth and tucking it, was great. Really just got to come out here and do, do our thing, really. Just another day, just another workout day. I was really nervous about the run, uh, being that it's four and a half, five months out of it. See how his turnover was, how his knee drive was. Very impressed. I'm feeling real good. Didn't feel any pain. Go home, ice up, get my body ready for the next one. Draft's coming up, but you're not nervous or nothing? We sighting a little bit. It's a dream. It's here now, though. Uh, you get to live, be a part of it. You guys got uh, you guys suits ready and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm still trying to plan something out for sure. We got the suit planned out. Got a red and black number. Had to represent the dogs. On the outside, it just look red, but as you get closer, you'll see that it's actually the Greek key. Just a little homage to Athens, Georgia, Athens, Greece. A little tuxedo fit. Tuxedo? Yeah. This can pull out or it can stay in. I guess it depends on the shoes that you want to rock. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Louboutins. Are you able to get him those shoes with, you know, your special your special sauce? Because your name is Ethan and that's the way. Yeah, I connected you with my shoe guy. I'm not a fashion dude, but I'm trying to get into fashion, so this is a good introduction. I'm looking at this and like, ooh, can we make this black? Yeah, we can if you want to change it to black. Yeah. He explained to me exactly what he wanted, and I drew it out for him. And to be honest, I just made it. It was mainly his design. I feel like here too, like just to carry on with me. For sure. So you want on the other, on this sleeve? Yeah. Yeah, we so could do like that. Those, For sure. Down, this black and everything else is fine. Yeah, let's do it. This was like the first fitting, so I'll do everything, chop it up a little bit, then I'll be in Vegas and then we'll do a fitting and it should be perfect. So yeah, so we'll make that black, add a stripe on the sleeve, and I'll bring it to Vegas. Hell yeah. Let's go. I can't wait to see the finished product. It's gonna look real handsome. <laughs> yeah, man, you look good, you feel good. I don't even want you know, play good. Yeah, sure. Always. You may think you know Garrett Wilson, but my journey is just beginning. And where I plan on going, there's just no room for average. My guy, what's up with you? Man? Good to see you, man. So good to have you in LA. Man, it's good to be out here, bro. You ready to get fitted? I'm ready. Only a few days left before the draft. I'm out here in Cali to check out my draft day suit. My styles, the best way you can describe it is a little different. You mess with pearls? Hell yeah. Rockstar shit. I'm got out with pearls. This guy wants to be a rock star. Promise you nobody in the draft yeah. has ever figured like, no one. I promise I, I, you Okay, bet. Oh, God. Most important thing is to see the suit, right? Oh, God. Let's oh, do God. it right now. No, I didn't want to do something regular. It's something different than any anyone has ever worn to the draft before. I've been working with Ian for the last three months to get this whole suit set up. That's Sweet tough. Finish. Oh my god, that's crazy. My inspiration for this suit was Travis Barker and Matt Gallup. When he sent over his inspiration, I couldn't have been more shocked. It's a special suit. It's honestly like one of my first suits that I really cared about. Too excited to see which pair of boots we end up going with. These are hard to see. Let me try these white boys on there. Those are low super they hard. Are hard. I like that because that gives it like a real grungy look. After hey, seeing the suit, sir. it really does all feel real. I'm getting drafted. I'm going to the NFL. You're a rock star. I feel that like one. Stay good. That's the whole point, right? We had Adidas today. I signed with Adidas. I'm really excited and blessed to be a part of their team. Apparently they got some stuff set up for me, so I'm really excited to get going. Classic stands me, so he oh, has a yeah, pair. Yeah, my guy. I'm kind of just looking around, going crazy right now. I ain't seen nothing like these before. Yeah. Bro, what you think, bro? I like them. This is crazy. Nobody got nothing like these. That's why I'm, that's why I'm getting them. I grew up buying Adidas, wanting to get all the new stuff. I love these, like these right here, NMDs. Like I've had these, been wearing these since I was in sixth grade, and they just rolled me out the carpet, bro. The white or the black Y3s? What you think over time? I'm getting both though, you right. 
This is such a blessing, man. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite shoes. These just became my new favorite shoes. They had a lot of good stuff out there. I'm really excited to be a part of their team. I feel like I got everything I need. We're draft ready. Let's head out to Vegas. Really excited for the rest of the week. Uh, my mom and dad get here tomorrow and my sister gets here tomorrow. My brothers, um, you know, everyone will be here. And you know, I'm, I'm sure they'll be all be really excited as soon as they land. So just can't wait to, you know, have, a, have them around for, you know, the best day of my life, honestly. Touchdown in Vegas earlier today and it's um, really all starting to feel real. I just feel like, you know, it's going to be a lot of energy with the vibes that you have when you're in Vegas and the way, you know, people people kind of act when they're out here. I can just imagine it being kind of loud in the stadium, a little rowdy. I'm super excited. I mean, I'm super excited. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't get much more excited than this. This is like a dream come true for me. Have you ever been to Vegas? Nah. No. I went there just recently for the Pro Bowl. Man. We're going to have to talk about it off the camera. That's, a, hey, that's an off the off camera the record, stuff right there. Off the record, off the record. No, nah, but Las Vegas is fun, man. Make sure y'all enjoy yourself and be safe. Everybody's gonna be excited, man. Y'all gonna wanna do all type of stuff, especially with the family and friends. So just make sure y'all be safe out there, man. But have fun, for sure. Hey! We out here in Vegas at the draft at the Play Football Now Community Service. Just out here having fun with the kids. We got to spend some time running around out here with some young aspiring NFL players and it was super awesome. I ran the tackling drill and I just seen the kids hitting the bag and I was like, yeah, we got some future superstars in there. And I love how they had the girls out too. They had both boys and girls, you know, included, having fun and just everybody having a great time. This was an amazing feeling. I see myself in those young players. The energy, the love for the game, you know, the want to be out here. You know, those kids are running around playing ball with the older dudes, you know, that's, that, that was me. I was one of them kids out there, you know, one day I wanted to be a ball player and, and just to come out here and have that experience with future ball players and, you know, these, some of these guys are going to be future Hall of Famers and, you know, hopefully that will be me, I'll be a putting on a gold jacket. You have to give back to the community because, you know, at the end of the day, the community is what gives back to you. So, you know, we couldn't do it without the fans, we couldn't do that without the family, so. I got to link up with J-Mo today. You know, see him, I mean, we best, we best buds, so it's always like, you know, we pick up where we left off. You know, he looked good, he looked like he healing up well from his injury, and that's great to see as well, so, you know, I know his energy's always, you know, there, he always bring up my energy, and it was good to see j -Mo. It's my first time in Vegas, actually. Me coming from St. Louis, I ain't never seen nothing like this. I'm feeling good about tomorrow, man. I probably won't go to sleep tonight. I know my family's super proud of me, and just to be able to do something positive in my life and show my little brothers away, or show the kids back home, or kids out here, kids anywhere. Yeah, you know, I, if I could do it, anybody can do it. Honestly, I, I haven't been nervous throughout this process. This is kind of out of my control. I mean, the whole family's going to be there, girlfriend's going to be there, friends are going to be there, so it should be a great night. No clue where I'm going, but don't really care. Excited to see where I end up. Don't, don't put me too low. Uh, I don't want to low at all, though, but not too much hurt, though. Since he was born, he gave him his first haircut. This draft got to be one of the craziest drafts in a long time, you know? This got to be the first draft where there's no consensus number one. One thing I can honestly say, the one position that it was a consistent number one was receiving. So they better choose wisely or get dealt with. <laughs> Pops, he got me right, you see. It's go time now. We ain't got anything done. Time to get ready for tomorrow, man. Right here, man, we got the secret sauce for tomorrow, bagged up. Custom little exclusive suit made for me. I wasn't the only one in the family got one though. We all got one. I don't want to show y'all too much though, so y'all gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Only one thing left. The drive. Let's do it.
That's a nice stadium. Look at that. Look like a spaceship, like a Death Star or something. That's what they call it, Death Star, yeah. right? Yeah. It's my first time in Vegas. Everybody's out here. It's a whole family reunion out here. I got my family to back if you want to pan yeah. to them. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm just grateful that I have everybody that's been with me and supporting me from day one out here because this is really what I do it for. It's finally here. It's really like setting in since we're touched down in Vegas. We've been talking about this for a long time, so I'm just ready to see where I end up and I'm just ready to get to work. at the bowling alley vibe and enjoying the moment before the big day tomorrow. Ah, you fold it, you fold it. <laughs> Look, I'm not really talking trash. Sierra fold, she done fold it. It's because you I, I said I thought you had it in the bag. I'm trying to encourage, I want to see everybody do good. I want to see a competitive game everywhere, so I'm about I'm gonna have to take this bike off. I feel like it's messing with my swag. Yeah, you know, I had some strikes and spares. I had a couple games where I just do my thing, but at the end of the day, you know, we just all having fun. My boyfriend, how's the power? What up? It's your boy JD, man. You treat, you, treat, you treat my little sister right, man? I got my whole family. I'm glad that they all here to celebrate me and to hang out and enjoy our trip and the journey here. Oh my god. LA get you, I'll be hella mad, man. You go to LA, he gonna be with Aaron Donald. That's not even fair. Nah, but, Chargers, Chargers. <laughs> oh, Chargers, oh, okay. Yeah, Chargers. <laughs> okay. That's, I got a good ass team too, but yeah, so if you go to Baltimore, I'll be playing against you in Baltimore. They always try to build around the defense, so I can see that one for sure. But you're not nervous or nothing? Nothing like that? Excited? Try not Maybe to get excited. nervous. I try not to think about it. What about, what about excitement? It's exciting, you know, going to a new place. What you doing? Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same. Exciting a little bit. Like you said, it's a dream. It's here now, though. Uh, you get to live. You got uh, any top three teams? Anyone talking to you? I ain't, that's something I ain't been paying attention to. I'm just really just waiting for the time. Whoever called my name. That's all that matters. Good. All that matters, huh? That's good. You can control what you can control. That's what I always, that's what they always say, man. That's, that's stuff you can't control. Yeah, my first TikTok I ever made. First ever? First TikTok ever made. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not nervous about the draft. It's something I've been dreaming about since I was a kid, and it's finally here. But it's a little bright, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because I'm, I'm lighting up everybody's day today. So it's really just a goal that I reach. So I feel like it's nothing to be nervous about. It's a part of life, the life I chose. And it's just something that uh, was expected, really. You know how this thing is going? I really ain't got no control over it. I'm just going with the flow. You really can't do nothing about the future. You don't know what's going to happen next. So really, I just try to live the most I can in this moment. I live it to the fullest. Really just enjoy the time here. Do I want to do glasses or no? No glasses. I've been through a lot, but I also came out on top of everything. So it's just been a great, fun run. It's just the beginning, though, really. It's that time. You may think you know Jamison Williams, but if you really know me, you know that obstacles in my way can only make me stronger. I wasn't even thinking about it at all last night. You know, having Tatum with me, take my mind off it, just having the people around me that I love, it's made it so that I'm not overthinking anything. It's definitely flew by. The time has flown by since college. Even since high school, everything seems bang, bang, bang. Like, with Corona and everything, I still feel like I'm 
19 years old, you know, so it's crazy. I'm gonna put on my suit right quick. It's really special to me, you know, I wanted to make a make an impact and have people talking about my suit. So we'll find out tonight though. Okay, that one. Let me put this down first. Yeah. And then that one. Okay, got it. It takes a whole family to get someone here. I mean, they're everything. I wouldn't be here in this moment without them. So now it's just as much about them as it is about me. You know, I'm really thankful that I have one of the best families that you can ask for. So. I've been telling him since he was a little boy that he's going to be a great man. You agree with it, don't you, Garrett? Yeah, I do, Pop. I don't know, he just had that extra thing. When he was born, he was not well. And um, the doctor said he didn't, they didn't know if he was going to make it. I remember calling all my friends and saying, pray for Garrett. Everybody around the country was praying for Garrett. So the next morning he wakes up, he's fine. And uh, I always felt like it gave him a little extra. I just always have felt that. Still got a couple hours to the draft and I got some things to take care of. So honestly, I'm just stressing out right now, trying to get to point A to point B. Bro, I need my bag. That's a busy day, so. Yeah, I got to roll, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Morning the draft, had a subway event. Go dogs! <laughs> I had to try all the subs, sign subs, hang out with the fans. It was a cool experience. We gotta get this jacket on you first. You gotta have a swag. Garrett's been here every step of the way. As soon as I got to Arizona, you know, I met and linked up with him. And obviously being on this overtime show brought us together. It's just good to have that experience with him and, you know, enjoy the moment because we all worked to get here. This is a fit check for the subway ball. This ain't the final <laughs> fit. I got something different for the draft. Time was ticking, man. I had to get ready. I, I was still in these little subway suits. So way cool and all, but you know I gotta I gotta get to the draft. I left the event, got on a little shuttle back to the hotel. You know, it was hectic because I had a lot of stuff to do that morning of. We gotta adapt, man. That's what we're doing right now. Adapting. Oh, oh shit. I was a little nervous about the draft. But seeing the suit makes it all feel real. I feel good, man. I feel good. I, I, I want to see a mirror, but you're making it work. I'm just blessed to have people that want me to look good, want me to feel good. You know, it's awesome having all these people here that are looking out for me. This process has been incredible. I hear I come right now. I've always been one of those who stayed working hard, always kept faith in God, and it's just been a blessing, really. Hey, yeah, JD. Soon. You even get to see a mirror yet? I haven't. <laughs> no mirror yet. You look amazing, babe. It's honestly a crazy concept if you think about it. I don't even know where I live, and then all of a sudden, boom, I'm in that city. So it's a blessing. How you doing, Jima? Good. I had to change in a little bathroom. I was changing so fast, I started sweating. I was about to sweat out my suit. I'm big, I always gotta carry a towel when I go outside, but like. You wanted to use it like your jacket, mm -hmm. that when you're on the carpet, you can tap your head. When I keep swimming in my bag. It's the worst time to start swimming. He looks so handsome. I feel like that's a kindergarten, his first good. My mom, she looked amazing, and we just complimented each other very well, and I'm glad that I had her with me. I knew nothing was gonna be handed to me, but I knew if I worked hard at it, I was gonna be in this position. Rome is a building one day, but you can definitely help laying the bricks. And that's just all I want to do is just help lay the foundation brick by brick. What's it, baby? First pick, Trayvon Walker. My dog, my guy. Super excited for him. I talk to the Jets a normal amount. You know, you kind of talk to all the teams. Let's go, baby! Honestly, kind of getting nervous here. Who do you think they're gonna take? Jameson Williams or Gary Wilson? Oh, 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 Trent London, hey, future Hall of Famer. I said it here first. I love Garrett Wilson, but I like Olave's route running better. Jamo I'll take Jamo. With Alabama, fastest guy in the draft, man. Could be a long night if I don't get drafted right now. It was just a surreal feeling. It's hard to recoup what I was thinking of at that moment. If so much thought was going through my head and 
so much joy. Well, the first thing was tears. <laughs> and he was like, this is it, mom. So I just was like, wow. It doesn't surprise me at all that my mom cried. Uh, I wish I could have been there with you know her and the fam, but I uh, had to catch a flight to New York. So tonight, I want to say thank you to all of you for what you put in his life, from his mother to his brother and sister to his coaches, his friends. So much was going through my mind at that moment. I just wanted to make sure I didn't trip over and fall, make a fool of myself. We're just so proud, so excited, and um, we are beyond. Gary getting picked up by the Jets, man. You know he's definitely going to excel. I'm happy for that guy, man. He definitely deserves every bit that's coming to him. Each pick gets called, you get more and more anxious because you're like, man, like, when's my name going to be called? What do you guys think of it? What do you got? With the draft pick in the 2022 NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select Jameson Williams. Jameson Williams was one of our former members here at the club, was here since he was six years old. We're so proud of Jameson and what he's accomplished, even overcoming his injuries and still going first round in the draft. I am so excited for this moment. This is a dream that has become reality for him. I can't wait to see what God has for him. And I'm just really excited and proud of him. I love him. You got this. J-Mo, that's my dog. That's been my friend since we got in school, so it's awesome to see his dreams coming true. Here we go, Lance! Here we go! You can see like all the pigs and everybody celebrating. It was just cool because you know they earned it too. It's an intense feeling to be there and wait on your name, and it's an anxious feeling. Texts are on the clock. We need, we like the we need so we many like pieces. It. And then uh, you get word they traded their pick with the Eagles. Looked at my mom and I was like, uh oh. Like, E A G L E S Eagles. She's a huge fan of the Eagles. And that was like something we used to fight about growing up. Fly, Eagles, fly. And then literally 30 seconds later, my phone started ringing. And it was from a Philadelphia number. And I was like, whoa. Who was on the line when you picked up? Howie. Howie and Coach Seriani. And they were like, hey, like, Jordan, you're a Philadelphia Eagle. Let's get to work. My mom, she keep it cool, but deep down inside, I knew she was going crazy. I know she's very excited for me to be here, and I know she's gonna be very excited to come to some of the games. I started my training process with Jordan, so to see him go on draft night just a few picks after me is amazing. This, this guy is, uh, this guy is happy. Happy in the moment, I'm grateful for the opportunity. You know, that's all it is really, it's just gratitude. None other than the OG himself, Roger Goodell, man. I said, let's work, let's grind. He said, I'm proud, very proud too, man. This happiness, man, this is happiness right here. You got a smile and everything, but really I wanted to cry at this moment because uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put into that. And then music's playing, and the crowd's cheering, and you just think, man, like I made it. And you're like, dog, like, I never would've thought. I never would've thought in a million years I'd be in this position. But the fact that I'm here now, I gotta do something special with it, because I know I'm something special. My mom always told me I was chosen. You know, I was chosen to rewrite the history of my family, rewrite the history of our, our pain, our trauma, everything. So to be able to do that, be able to help my mom, help my brothers, help my future kids, have them live the life that I didn't have growing up. This is all the beginning of a start of a new point in life. It's all just part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. What you don't know about the draft 
which is completely crazy. You got like two hour long media sessions after that. I want to try a cheesesteak. I want to try a real Philly cheesesteak. I heard that they got the best. I didn't finish my interviews till the draft was over. You immediately go into doing a lot of media with the Jets media and NFL media. Um, I mean, honestly, try and get, get some work in with some of the guys and uh, start building this chemistry. I'll start getting this thing rolling. Even in that moment, you just have to stop and just appreciate the moment. Man, like, they traded up for me, and it was just an amazing feeling. Just to, you know that they really wanted you if they trade up for you. You kind of think you'd have that time to spend with your family and think about what you just accomplished. But, uh, I mean, I flew out that same night. Next morning, took a flight to Philly. Only thing I really knew about Philly was about the cheese steaks and Will Smith. West Philadelphia, born and raised on playgrounds where I spent most of my days. I'm here with my boy Nicole Dean. And we out here at the original Tony Luke. So we about to try a cheese steak. Everybody see what all the hype's about. You're not supposed to say Philly cheese steak, you gotta say cheese steak. You gotta say either you want provolone or whiz. I like provolone, some people like whiz. I get it. Cheese steak, provolone, no mushrooms, no green peppers. Jordan! It's supper time. I've been here for a few weeks. It's cool. Thank you, thank you. The team accepted me with open arms. Delicioso. Take a bite. I'm really excited to be a part of the team. Y'all see how I feel about the sandwich. It's gone. Before his was gone, before anybody was gone. You got a bunch of old guys that know what it takes to win. They won the Super Bowl back in 2017. Mmm. Mmm. That cheese pool go insane. We have enough young guys and we have enough vets to really make it something special. I, I'm your security at the field anyway, so. Ah, yeah, so. I'm really excited to be a part of the team. Really excited to get to work. The bread is soft. The onions are oniony. They go crazy. You go crazy. I just want to show what I can do and give her everything I got to Philly. With these, definitely gonna love being in Philly. So, till next time, y'all gotta get out of my face. I'm about to eat. I got <laughs> <laughs>